Puritan Audio Laboratories. The pursuit of audio perfection is substantially a matter of multiple incremental improvements and lowering the noise spectrum across the system is a key part of this journey. And in this demonstration we are looking at the noise which exists on the earth or ground line. Clean power can make a stunning difference to audio performance but still leaves a major source of noise pollution connected directly to your signal processing stages. The ground or earth, the green and yellow lead in your mains plug, is literally a connection to the ground of the planet, made by connecting to a mass of buried metal. It is the ground of your audio connections, the zero volt reference, to which the voltages processed by your preamps, amps and DACs refer to to see what they are processing. As when navigating in air, it is essential to fix the horizon. If you do not know which way is up, you don't know which way to go, and you will be all over the place. Similarly with audio, you need a stable ground to achieve precise and steady soundstage locations. With modern living, you are likely to be sharing your ground connection with perhaps hundreds of other properties connected to the same electricity substation. If each of these has 10 computers, chargers, laundry appliances, TVs, etc., connected to ground, each with switching power supplies, dumping their nasty high frequency chopping interference to ground. This means that before the earth line reaches your home, it could have thousands of interference dumping sources polluting it. Whilst there are any number of shoe boxes containing carbons, crystals, lattices and whatnot, which claim magical high frequency absorbing abilities if wired to your hi-fi earth, there is only one true ground, terra firma, and nothing kills noise like grounding it to ground. Audiophiles in the know have long understood this, installing dedicated or supplementary earth rods to their hi-fi. A few pounds for a copper-plated earth rod, a hammer to bang it in with, a reel of cable, and a few hours of your time, and voila, you are one significant step closer to audio heaven, but not quite so fast. Removing the safety earth and connecting a dedicated hi-fi earth is a no-no, and whilst connecting a supplementary earth directly to your hi-fi in addition to the safety earth will have the same great effect, this is also a no-no for the reason that any massive fault between the substation and you may find its most attractive route to earth for its colossal fault currents through your hi-fi. Whilst the primary safety earth must never be disconnected, a second supplementary earth can be connected with complete and utter safety using the Puritan Groundmaster. With 12 individually tuned frequency guides covering the entire interference spectrum, it will route all interference efficiently to ground, whilst the potentially dangerous route to ground for mains frequency fault currents is safely isolated. And what is the effect? Here we have a system with the earth point access on the casework of the preamplifier power supply. A better solution is to have an external star earth point as provided on Puritan distribution strips and mains conditioning boxes. But here we are looking at how to connect the ground master into a basic setup. Taking a lead connected to the casework of the pre-amplifying power supply here in this case and connecting it to the ground master. See an immediate very very useful reduction in the amount of interference which is present on the earth line. If we take off again as it comes round see the horror story that is normal. In terms of sound, the imaging will be much more stable, rock solid, and the sound stage will be broader and deeper with the recovery of much more fine detail leading to greater dynamics, realism and overall a wholly more exciting and rewarding listening experience.